Hey guys, so I have a body painting look for you guys today. This is very inspired by Tina Yu's artwork. I will link her down below. She does like these beautiful, I mean beautiful, like so good acrylic paintings. She also does sculptures. I just really like her art, but um, yeah. So that's what this was inspired by and let's just get on into it. So the first thing that I am doing is I am sketching out the layout. So I'm just sketching out this lady's face. Um, I'm sketching out to be like cloud portion or like where it separates or whatever. I'm sketching out the eyeball balloons and the volcano. To sketch this out, by the way, I am using the NYX white pencil. I will have all the products that I use listed down below. Once we're done drawing, I'm going in with my Mehron. This is the 30 palette AQ palette, I believe. Um, and I'm taking this like light yellow shade. So I mixed the lightest yellow in that palette with white. I got like this pretty buttery color. And um, every time I lay down paint, I'm going in with my sponge because it just helps it, like it makes it so it's not patchy. Um, Cause if you just lay down the paint, it's kind of patchy and stuff. But once I go in with the yellow, I'm going in with green and then I'm going in with teal. And then I'm going in with blue, and then lavender, and then purple. So I'm just creating a gradient here. Um, and it's kind of like a circular gradient, so it's going outward. Once we have that side all colored in, I'm going into the other side and I am starting to paint it in um, lavender. So this is like the lavender paint mixed with a little bit of white and I believe a little bit of gray. And I can't explain to you what this is. Like it's not, I don't, I didn't really like make it to make sense. I just wanted to like split the canvas in half. Um, so it was just like sort of an artistic choice and honestly it's not one that makes a whole lot of sense in reality. Um, but yeah, so I just colored that in lavender and then I went in and I colored in the volcano. So those are orange, pink, and white. And then I went down and I started to lay eyeshadow on top of each paint, like each part where I laid down paint, I laid down like a corresponding eyeshadow just because that helps the paint get like build it up with color and makes it look more opaque uh, and solid because it looks a little bit like patchy and weird even though I'm going over it with a sponge. Uh, what I'm doing for this side is I'm taking the Viseart Editorial Bright palette and I'm just laying down each corresponding color. Alright, so now we're going over the side that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And I'm taking the Kevlon D Pastel Goth palette. I'm taking Dope and I'm just laying down that eyeshadow all over the place. I'm using like so much of it. And then I'm taking Blue from the NYX um, Cream Pink. Yeah, but <laughs> I'm just tapping that on the purple area just to give that sky like a little bit more texture. Um, and then I'm taking White and doing the same exact thing um, on both sides. So I just put the blue on my right side and then I'm going out the white and I'm putting that on the right side and the left side and just giving you that like sky like texture. After that I'm starting to paint my girls. So I'm taking Filao, guys, I don't know what that word is, but it's called Filao, I know that, it's the Mayron paint, and I mixed it with a little bit of white, and I'm painting this lady's skin. Now for my ride or die, my baby, I'm taking the Ed Cosmetics Naturally Pretty Palette. I'm taking Sheer Joy and I'm just setting that skin tone shade. And then we are taking Midnight and I'm just getting like all them deep, deep crevices, like her jawline. I don't have a jawline, but I'm gonna make my lady have a jawline. So 
I'm just shading in underneath her like chin with that and then I'm taking this blue shade from the watercolor palette from Sephora and it's like a light blue shade and I'm just starting to like uh, begin shading in the face so I'm shading like the eye socket area and your nose and where the hair hits I wanted some warmer shading around the eyes so I took soulful and I just kind of like outlined around the eyes with it and then I took clementine and I uh, gave my girl a little bit of blush um, around her like cheeks, on her nosy, on her chin, on her shoulder. Um, she looks really cute. And I gave her a mouth with the red shade from the Sephora watercolor palette. So I'm just sketching her out like a little teeny tiny mouthy. For the eyes, I took the Mayron white paint and I just started to fill in the white of the eyes um, in like a football shape. And then I took violet and I did the irises, which is just basically like a circle inside the white. With Java, I am just like giving this lady some eyelids and I'm also going on the bottom and giving her like a crease under there. She looks mad sleepy, but and then I'm also giving her some eyebrows because she desperately needed those. Um, once we got that, we are shading in with a little bit of all heart just around like the eyes, like the eye sockets and the nose. And then I'm taking Noir and I'm starting to like outline the top and the bottom of the eyes so they just really look like they're like coming to life. And I also gave her a nostril. And I deepened up them eyebrows because she got black hair. I needed to separate this lady's lips as well, so I took uh, Noir and I did that. And then I took the NYX foundation mixer in deep and I gave her an eyelid and I also like defined where her nose is and the nostril a little bit more. And then I took the Smashbox Always On Liquid Liner and I did her top lid with that. I gave her some lashes. Um, I also brought it on the bottom a little bit and I gave this lady a nostril too. Taking Nora again, I deepened up like, well I gave her a pupil um, and I did that just by like dotting a little bit of black shadow in the middle of her iris and I also went back in with that Smashbox liquid liner and I gave it some eyebrows, just like gave it some hair on the brows, deepened up the shape a little bit, you know, you gotta, you gotta make them nice, even if you're a drawing on someone's chest, you gotta have nice eyebrows. Um, and then, what did we do? Well, we took Cherish, um, it's a NYX lip of the day, and I did her like waterline with that, it's just like a glossy pink um, liner, liquid liner, and I also dotted a little bit of that on her lips, so it looks nice and wet. And then I took the NYX foundation mixer in white, and I dotted a little bit of like the beginning stages of highlights on her waterline, also on her cheekbone. Um, I blended that up so it looks a little intense. And then I took the NYX white with the liner and I started in for a little bit more like intense highlights. If you guys know um, my body painting, I like to like build up the highlights. So I did a lot, of, I did quite a few dots around the eyes. I love highlights, they're like my favorite thing. This is so good. Um, and I did some dots like, where else did I do dots? I did them on her eyes obviously, um, like on the top of her lid and also on the black part. I did her liquid liner, did some dots on her mouth and the nose. Now for eyeball balloons. I'm taking white and I am filling in the white of my eyeball balloons. I'm keeping that like circle on the inside um, free of white paint because we're going to go in with yellow there. Once we're done filling in white paint, we are taking the white from the Viseart palette and I'm just tapping that on each like white part of the eye because again, doing the same thing that I've been doing all throughout this, I want to like set it um, so it blends better with the shadow I'm going to be putting there. And then I am putting the dark yellow from the Mayron palette and I'm filling in the iris and then we're filling in the hair. So I'm just filling that in with black um, and where like the hair ends, like her bangs and then the ends of her hair, I'm just like flicking it kind of downward. Now for highlights, more highlights, yes beach. I'm taking the NYX foundation mixer in white and I'm just going to the middle of the hair um, and I'm just going up and down and like I'm not like completely blending it out in areas because I want it to be kind of uneven and that's what makes shine. 
I might also put some on the bangs and on the other side of the hair and then I'm taking the NYX liquid liner in white and I'm just doing some little taps of like a more intense highlight. Uh, once I do that, I'm taking Viseart's Editorial Brights palette, I'm taking the orange shade and I'm just going around the edge of the iris um, to create like a gradient going into the yellow. With the Sephora watercolor palette, I took the peach shade first and I just went around each like eyeball balloon and I just shaded it in. Um, just where the eyeball balloon kind of like ends, like kind of like an outline a little bit, and then I'm going back and forth and bringing it towards the iris of the eye. I also did that with the light blue. I'm just going back and forth with it on um, each little eyeball balloon. And then I took what is this dagger from the Kat Von D pastel glass palette and I shaded in where my hair, where my lady's hair, hits the eyeball balloon. With Noir from Naturally Pretty Palette, I am just doing where like that balloon tie is, you know, like where like the balloon tie is. I'm just doing like a line there to define a little bit more. And then I took red from the Vizier palette and I just outlined each iris with that. Taking more noir, I'm putting that in the middle of the iris. I'm um, doing like a kind of like oval shape. And that is our pupil for our ball balloon. It's kind of funny guys, because I think I did this at a different angle than I normally do. Um, and my face just looks so intense and concentrated sometimes. Like when I was looking over the footage, I noticed that. But uh, anyway, then I took the Vivid Fire from the next Vivid Brights and I just outlined each iris. With the burgundy shade from the Viseart palette, I am going around each iris and I'm really like starting to kind of like deepen up that iris shape um, and just kind of fading it into like the red and the orange and the yellow. This next step is one of my favorite steps. I'm going in with this like Amazon cream paint palette that I got years ago. I don't know what brand it is. Um, and but I just I, I love it a lot honestly it's like one of, it's like a makeup forever dupe um, and I am going around the iris of each eyeball balloon and I'm just like bringing in some really intense highlights and then I'm going in with the white and I am bringing in some really intense highlights to the white part of the eye so I'm just like kind of outlining it in some areas and then going back and forth kind of like what we did with the blue and the peach and I'm just bringing in some intense highlights and then I went in with the Vivid Bright and Vivid Halo and I brought in some more highlights to the iris just doing some like outlines in there. This is a gold look of the day from NYX and I just brought some of that gold like into the black area and brought a little bit into just like dotting some areas of the iris. Um, I just wanted like, I don't know, I thought it was going to be pretty. Like, give a little metallic thing. This is a what is it? Absolute New York liner in yellow and I just tapped a little bit of that. It's just like a brighter yellow liquid liner and it just makes that iris pop a little bit more. Oh fuck yeah, we're doing the NYX white liquid liner highlights on the eyeball balloon. So I'm just like outlining these balloons. I'm also putting some in like the puckered part or whatever of the balloons. Just like some dots of highlights there and I brought some into the iris. The iris is highlights with the white is just like kind of like an outline um, around like the pupils and then I also did some like dots of highlights in the iris and I was really running out of this NYX white liquid liner so I didn't get to get the full effect that I like to get but I think it was good enough. Um, once we are done doing that we're basically done these eyeball balloons and I'm going into Star from the Pastel Goth palette and I'm starting to highlight these volcanoes um, and then once I get done with star I'm taking orange and I'm going around and just adding some like definition some just like rocky texture happening um, like lines of that and I wanted the ones in the back to be like a little bit less intense than the ones in the front because that's depth you guys um, and then I took that Amazon palette and I did some highlights with the yellow and then I did that like red lava or whatever dripping down and then I took the vivid bright and vivid halo did some highlights with that, just some like, you know, sharper highlights. Um, then I took Hazy from NYX and I did some lines and I took the white liquid liner and I did some more highlights. I know this is going kind of fast. Um, and then we're doing the smoke. So the smoke is just white from that Amazon palette that I'm just tapping around and um, I tapped it up into the sky. And now we're doing clouds. That was a lot, you guys. That was a lot to say. Um, so clouds are just how I normally do clouds. I use my finger go into the NYX cream paint in white and I just tap 
and it gives me a cloudy texture. It's, it's extremely easy, I swear. Um, and I'm doing that like I'm putting some in front of the eyeballs and um, you know, making some farther back. And then we are doing the extreme highlights in the clouds, which is the white uh, Amazon palette, and I'm just like dragging it down. And that's how you create highlights with like a round brush. And then we're doing some dots. These are like stars or just texture or whatever, but I did dots with the NYX Vivid Bright and Vivid Halo. What did I use? I used Vivid Blossom, I believe this one is. And then I used, um, what is it? Blue Milk from Lime Crime. I did some dots with that. With the Absolute New York liquid liner in yellow, I did some lines of highlights in the volcano, then I tapped some in the yellow part of the sky, then I took the dream palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I took Ethereal, and I just did some little highlighty areas in my sky, and then I also put some like sparkles in the sky, and I put the little balloon lines coming down. Finally, on the face is the NYX pore filler. I put some of that on, then I took the lavender paint and I put that all over my face. Ignore that yellow. That was, that was a mistake. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I tapped it out with my sponge and look at this. <laughs> look at my stupid face. Look at my stupid face. Uh, but this is the Kat Von D Pastel Goth Palette. I took like that lavender shade um, and I just put it all over just trying to like build up this lavender. We're contouring with the Vizier Editorial Brights Palette because we look like a purple mess. Using Inspire from the Lime Crying Venus XL palette, I am trying to look less like a purple mess by putting blush all over my freaking face, on my nose, cheeks, chin, um, and then I took Flora and I'm putting that like all over the eyes, um, underneath the eyes, chin, cupid's bow, above the eyes, I'm just, uh, I don't know, I was just feeling it. I was like, red sounds good, you know, let's put red here. That's, that's generally my thought. Oh, I took some more of that purple and I started to contour. Uh, because I have no job. And there was like, okay, put some red underneath my contour because it looked blotchy and weird in that area, honestly. Um, and then I contoured my nose with some of this blue eyeshadow. I realized that, oh shit, I need to put some balloons on my face. So I took a maple wipe and I just like sketched out an oval with a makeup wipe. And then I started to paint the balloons, the eyeball balloons. Basically, these are basically miniature versions of what I did four of on my chest. So I'm not really gonna explain how to do them because um, I just painted four of them. It's basically the same thing. Are these cheek balloons so cute? They're kind of cute, right? I think they're kind of cute. Um, but we're going into ethereal, and I says purple skin, purple highlights, so that's what I did. I did some highlights on my cheekbones, nose, cupid bow, um, and then we're doing the eyeballs. For these eyeballs, I went back and forth with uh, Passion from the Venus XL palette, and I just put that in my crease, and then I took white from the Viseart palette, and I just highlighted the shit out of my brow bone. I blended passion a little bit more and then I deepened up my outer V with triumph. So I just went back and forth with that. I'm filling in my eyebrows how I normally do. Um, and then I am taking Sunset Cove from, what is it, Stila? It's the uh, Glitter and Glow Sunset Cove and I just put that on the lid. And then I took a little bit of called Grind and I put that on top of it from Urban Decay. It's a heavy metal glitter. I wanted more of like a fade on the outer V, so I took purple from the Vizier palette and I just flicked that into the sparkles and I took Noir and I outlined my lower lash line and then I blended it out. I said, time for cat eye because I love cat eyes. So I just gave myself a cat eye and then I took uh, Noir again and I just like deepened up that outer V with a little bit of black shadow, um, flicking it from the cat eye to the eye and then I took blue milk and I just dotted like little freckles all around my face with blue milk and I also took the blossom and what is this? Yeah, and I did the same thing.
This lipstick is the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick in Make It Rain. I just put that all over my mouth. And that is the finished look, you guys. Um, I just throw on a gray or a silver wig and um, that's it. I hope you guys liked it. I liked painting it. It's funny, when I did this look, like, um, I felt really like weird and kind of insecure about it, I guess, but my husband really liked it. So, um, I like it now though, after like editing it and everything. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Like this video if you like this video. Subscribe makes me happy. Hit that little bell if you guys want to be notified when I make videos. And I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Bye!